Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the beginner's step-by-step -step guide on how you can start trading on Max Global. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive in, let's dig in, and let's go straight to the main business. So, first and foremost, you need to register to create a Max Global account, and you are going to see the link in the description box to register okay check the description box below you are going to see the max global registration link there to register to create an account it's free to sign up okay so and after your registration you download the max global hub i'm actually on the max global hub i'm on my max global account right now and i'm using the hub so you can go to apple store okay or play store to search for max global m e x c okay to download the max global account so as you can see right here i already have the max global uh, app account on my iphone okay so now let's go back to the hub and show you guys what next after your registration so after your registration the next step is to actually deposit to start buying and selling to start trading your cryptocurrency so how do you deposit it's very simple and straightforward all you just have to do is to log in to your account through the app okay then click on wallet right below here so once you click on wallet you are going to see the deposit button the withdraw button and the transfer button okay as you can see right here i have 210 usd here okay so in order for me to deposit all i have to do is to click on this deposit button so once you click on the deposit button you will be able to search for the coin you want to deposit okay so let's say you have coins on other platform like your decentralized wallet like trust wallet like metamask or on centralized exchange like binance uh okay here's okay you can transfer those uh coins to your max global account so let's say you want to deposit into your max global account i recommend you uh click on this search bar here okay to search for whatever coin you want to deposit okay if it is ethereum you want to deposit search for eth if it is btc you want to deposit you search for btc if it is litecoin you want to deposit you search for litecoin that's ltc ltc okay so you click on the coin once you search for it and the next step is to tap to generate address so same thing applicable goes for every other coins you want to deposit okay so you click on tap to generate address and boom it will show this okay to ensure the security of your deposit we have sent the deposit address information to your linked email address so the deposit address will be sent to your email address okay so for uh security purpose okay so click confirm so once you click on confirm button it will show you the wallet address okay so all you just have to do is to click on this copy icon right here to copy the wallet address then go to your uh trust wallet metamask or your binance account or your hokex account and go and transfer the coin you want to deposit from those wallets so after depositing into your mesh global account okay so what's the next step okay the next step is that the fund uh you deposited we actually show here okay and the next step is to start trading okay the next step is what is to start trading to buy to buy and sell okay so let's say you deposited trx or lts litecoin or you deposited bitcoin or ethereum it's going to reflect right here okay so once it reflects here the next step is to click on market so you're gonna click on market right here 
to you know uh convert the coin deposited into usdt okay but as for me i already have usdt here okay so let's say i actually deposited litecoin or whatever all i just have to do is to click on the litecoin okay and you're going to see litecoin slash usdt ethereum slash usdt blah 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 okay so well better still you can still click on market and search for that coin you deposited let's say ltc which is litecoin so you are going to see features at the top let's say that coin you deposited you want to use the trade features okay you can do that click ltc slash usdt perpetua you click on it okay so but take notes if you want to trade futures you must make sure you know technical analysis and you have to be uh very careful okay with the leverage you use because the higher the leverage the uh higher the risk you get it the higher the leverage the higher the risk the uh make sure that your leverage is uh not too much okay if you are trading futures so you can use like two three x or four x or five x leverage okay so you don't get liquidated uh immediately or anytime the trade goes against you so now to convert our coin to usdt okay we have to do that through spots spot okay so you click on ltc slash usdt and once you click on it then you are going to see this interface and below you are going to see the buy and sell button so you click on buy uh sell you can actually click on any of them let's say we click on buy to take us to this page then we can click on sell right here we click on the sell button because we want to sell the ltc or whatever coin we have to usdt so once we click on sell we are going to see limit below so you can click on the limit and change it to market okay so the market actually uh makes you to sell your coin instantly immediately based on the current price so but this limit right here that's if you want to set the, the price, okay, let's say the LTC current price down is 70.48 and you want to sell this LTC when the price gets to $80, okay, so you type 80, then you swipe this forward 100%, then you click on sell LTC, the order will be created, okay, and it will not buy immediately because the current price of LTC, it will not sell immediately, I mean to say, because the current price of LTC is $70.49. So once the price of LTC gets to $80, the uh, order will automatically get triggered. Okay, the order will be fulfilled. So, well, if you want to sell instantly immediately without wasting time you click on market order you have to select market order okay so then you swipe and you click on sell ltc okay so that does it so once you click on sell ltc immediately it will be sold and converted to usdt and when you go to your wallet when you click on wallet you're gonna find usdt in your wallet just like i have usdt sitting right here so i have 210 usdt so this usdt you can use it to buy other coins okay you can use it to buy bitcoins and buy altcoins like you know bnb uh but i'm not sure bnb will be on max because most of this exchange they don't normally list other crypto exchange coins so let's find out if bnb will be on this platform oh there's bnb okay and i think that's simply because bnb coin is actually not just a token okay because some crypto exchange uh coin is just a token okay just a token for the platform like they don't have a blockchain of their own okay but bnb does it has a binary smart chain so now 
we want to use this USDT to buy another coin okay so these are you trade okay you buy low and you sell high take note this is a beginner's guide okay you buy low and you do what and you sell high that's how you make profit okay and take note there's what we call fomo fear of missing out in crypto in the financial markets okay so that fomo is actually when a the price of a particular coin is rising is going up everybody is hyping it then you don't want to miss out you want to you know get the piece of the cake okay and you dive in to buy the coin at high price okay that's a formal and you might eventually lose okay so if you want to buy coin so you click on home okay you click on gainers so as you can see we have coins that are performing very well that has you know like 1000 percent plus you know all these coins if you're buying them you're buying at a very huge high risk okay so you have to look for something that is down okay that is low that is in red not in green like this okay so and take note not all coins you see that is in red that you you will even buy for example the time luna was actually going down then some people were actually buying more luna as the price is going down not knowing that luna price will eventually crash to less than zero dollar okay when i mean when i mean like less to less than zero dollar so you should mean you should know that that means it crashed to an extent that it became worthless okay so you have to be very careful to not all the coins that you see in red or low that you buy because sometimes those coins you see in red they're like kind of in the retracement mode okay so you have to wait for some time a little bit before you even uh buy okay so or uh, you know you look for another coin that you see that it has not even you know it has not picked at all so now we are going to click on markets to go search for these coins okay so and we are going to click on sports right here okay so as you can see we have change here let me click on this change so as you can see after clicking on this change we have some of the coins that are in red okay so uh not too many okay so like this hns uh i don't know about the coin so but before you buy any coin once you search for it or you once you see a particular coin like that and you clicked on it next step is click on info okay click on info you see info right here okay you always find this on any crypto exchange platform look for info check for the coins information so this particular coin now the max supply is actually 2 billion so we don't have any information about the circulating supply and the issue price so now this phone handshake is a decentralized permissionless naming protocol where every peer is validating and in charge of managing the root dns naming zone with the goal of creating an alternative to ex existing certificate authorities and naming system so this coin after checking the info next step you check the chart i hope you guys are gaining some value okay if you're gaining value do yourself the biggest favor to subscribe right now so you don't miss out okay and don't forget to like comment and share okay so if you have questions suggestions drop them in the comment section below okay so you are going to check the chart okay so from the chart as we can see right here you know this particular coin at a point in time the price was 0 0.08 that was eight cents and currently now the price is three cents okay so that means this coin price has actually dropped from the uh initial all-time high price which was 0 0.08 okay so and i think this is a new coin if you want to get more details 
okay about this coin apart from the info you get on the crypto exchange you can go to coin market cap or coin gecko okay so you can actually download coin market cap or coin gecko on your play store or apple store so you download it on your phone so you click on search and search for the name of the coin this is it right here it's on coin market cap so so once you search for it okay so i'm gonna add this to my uh wish list a uh, watch list i mean so as you can see the charts right here you can see it's actually done okay and also i told you we can find more details here the whole time high price was actually huh it's five cents why the all time low is actually one cent okay 85 cents to one cent and currently the price is three cents okay so you can also check out the links their social media and do to see if the team behind this project if they are still active if they're not if they are not dead so you click on the twitter twitter's page is loading okay so guys don't forget to like to give it a thumbs up like 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 and share this video okay so as you can see the handshake uh, platform was created on nine at their page i mean they joined twitter master and nine and you know the last time they posted okay okay look at this account has been reactivated by the community to share news and development since 2023 okay so since 2023 i don't think they've made any post this year 2024 so to me the team behind this project i don't know they're not really that active okay so uh if you are going to be buying this coin you buy it short term okay as a trader you buy short term and sell it immediately you see a kind of profit maybe 10 20 40 50 percent 100 percent profit this is i cannot recommend anyone to buy this kind of coin and just huddle and keep you know for long term because the team behind the project maybe they've even abandoned it okay but you know you can actually credit crypto okay because most times some abandoned project by the team or founders to perform very well but you know it's better to actually buy and invest into something that you know that the people who even created it they have believed they have trust in their project and they are working actively 247 on building and improving and developing the project okay and they also have great and strong community so those are the kind of projects you have to invest into long term so but something like this you just buy you know and sell as soon as possible so apart from this let's check out another coin so here's another one here ht okay minus three percent so this ht what's the name let's check the info is hubi token okay so hubi token is created by the hubi crypto exchange okay so uh, if we can see more details with this information page so this token was issued 2018 the max supply is 500 million the circulating supply is 232 million issue price 1.49 usdt okay so at a point in time this price of this coin was actually more than nine dollars so let's go to coin market cap to see more details about that ht will be talking so it's loading yeah as you can see okay the all time high price was even 39 dollars and the all time low is 0 0.89 so uh, this kind of token be rebranded to hts 
you can actually buy this token now okay so it's from a crypto exchange that is actually popular okay though uh no crypto exchange is you know uh 100 percent guaranteed okay so you can click on buy and once you click on buy you you know as usual you change this limit to market and you know we are going to be using part of our usdt to buy this token so we're buying like 12.65 uh we are using like 12.65 usdt to buy this token so i'm going to eat on the buy button yeah so me test successfully so if i go and click on wallet right here i'm gonna see the token i just purchased will be token so with 12.65 dollars okay i'm able to get 33.79 will be token no um no no, with 33 dollars okay i actually bought 33 dollars so i made a mistake there so i felt i bought with 33 dollars and that gives me 12.65 will be token okay so if you want to sell it or trade it you click on this trade right here so once you click on trade okay to take you to this page so you can click on sell if you want to sell after making profits maybe that's 33 dollars plus has turned to like 40 dollars or 50 dollars you can decide to sell okay you can sell hold or you type the amount you want to sell maybe you want to sell like 12 of it or uh, maybe you want to sell like five of it then you hit on sell okay so if you want to sell her so if i click on wallet now you're going to see i've sold part of it it's loading so i'm left with seven will be token which is equivalent to twenty dollars so if you want to sell all i'll click on trade and i'm going to click on sell ht boom done so as you can see initially what i had is 1210 dollars now i'm left with 209.88 dollars so where is the remaining uh dollar there is trading fee so as you buy and sell there is trading fee being charged on your transaction as you buy and sell okay so this trading fees goes to the crypto exchange okay so you know you sign up for free you buy and sell your coin and the way the crypto exchange makes their money is from your trading fees so take note of that so the more you trade the more trading fees you pay so this is for the spot trading so let's say you want to do the features okay this is features right here okay but take note as i said earlier on if you want to do the features you have to be very careful you have to learn about the technical analysis so you have to actually click on transfer to transfer some usdt to your features account so with five dollars you can start you know the features trading so we're gonna click on five then you click on done then we'll click on transfer okay it's loading so as you can see right here it says you have transferred assets to features i can't trade now i'm gonna click on trade okay so take notes the interface for the features is different from the uh what's it called the sports wallet so on sports we have buy and sell but on features what we have is open long and open short so the long means buy the short means sell so basically what this actually means the features is about you know predicting 
it's about pre prediction okay so if btc will be going to like uh what's it called uh fifty thousand dollars you can open long and if you predict that the price of btc will be going to thirty thousand dollars you can open short okay open short so long is when you know that the price of the coin will be going up why short is when you know that the price of the coin will be going down okay so this simply means with long if the price of btc or whatever coin you are trading is going up you are benefiting you are making profit and with short if the price of the coin is going down crashing you are still you know milking you are making your mula making your dollar you get the point so now let's use our five years et we had it okay to to trade okay so to do that basically if you want to select the uh the pair you want to trade okay because we have different pairs btc slash usdt pairs you click right here this btc slash usdt so then you click on usdt these yeah and you're gonna see you know all these other pairs so you, let's say matic usdt so you click on matic usdt okay so and if you want to check the candle before you start your trade you click here to check the you know the charts okay so you know don't forget i told you, you need to have knowledge about the technical anal analysis you have you need the technical analysis skill okay so you check the chart okay so like you know you have the higher highs higher lows you know you check when to enter and when to exit the market okay so if you really want to you know check the chart the best is to use trade view so that trade view is the tool specifically you know created for you know technical analysis so for you to read the chart okay so we can go back so the usdt we have okay so if we are going to you know long or short that would depend on our technical analysis it would depend on the chart okay so before you make any trade don't listen to whatever anybody says okay without looking at the chart or without that person showing you the chart okay so you have to make sure you check the chart because the chart doesn't lie okay you check the chart before you decide to take a trade it's very very important okay so now as you can see we have 20 x here if we open longer open short right here that means we are going to be using 20 x leverage okay so we don't want to do that okay so we are going to click here then we are going to reduce this to like five hex so you can actually you have like 200 hex you can use 200 x leverage okay but that's too dangerous okay so i'm gonna click on confirm okay so with that if we are to open long mass long 29 matic and for the short mass short 29 matic so now i'm going to long okay so so i'm gonna click on open long uh, as you can see this is on market go market then click on open long then click on confirm order is successfully okay so as you can see our order has been fulfilled and here we have our margin ratio margin usdt so 
there are some things that you need to look out for okay so here is where you see your profit and loss so if you're in profit this will be in green if you are at loss this will be in red okay so you can set your you know take profit and sell your tp and sl applies to the entire position so if you click on tp and sl you can understand so your take profit so you type in your take profit here okay then your stop loss you type in your stop loss so that is if the price goes down to this certain price you know you want it to you know you want to exit the the market okay you don't want to lose all your funds okay so this is where you do that so and if you want to close the trade all you just have to do is to click on close and take note currently the price of matic is 0 0.8 and if the price of matic goes down to 0 0.68 you know our assets will be liquidated as take note of that okay so you have to take note of your liquidity price right here take note of your liquidity price right here okay so if the price of matic does not go to this price down to this 0.68 you will not be liquidated and if the price of matic goes like one dollar you'll be making profit because we open long okay so the reverse is the case when we open short okay and now we want to close the trade let's assume we've made profit all you just have to do is to click on close okay then you click on confirm boom so now to withdraw your assets all you just have to do is to click on transfer to transfer your usdt back to you know uh your spot wallet so take note from spot to feature you have to click this arrow here to convert to from features to spot okay so let me go back transfer Feature to spot so i'm supposed to see you know we have 4.95 dollars yeah okay so. so from features to spots so let me go back to trade okay Back to wallet. Transfer. This is our unrealized profit and loss 0 0.046 four cent. So I thought I've closed this market. Yeah. Confirm. Yeah. So I just closed it now, cancelled. Okay, so I didn't know that I didn't select market. So you have to make sure you select market, okay, before you close. So I made a mistake there. Okay, so now I go back to click on transfer features to spot hall. So I'm gonna click on transfer right now. 
you have transferred asset to support account trade now so now as you can see just showed you how you can do the spot trading and the futures trading take note this is just a beginner's guide okay so and if you guys are ready to learn more feel free to contact me okay you're gonna find my contact in the description box and also if you 